perfect society. And society doesn't want man to be free. Society does not, not want, want man, man to be free. free. Because freedom means, to according to social, freedom means disorder. Revolt means disorder. Revolution means disorder. So society says, hold, I mean, forbids that. But man is always seeking freedom. But freedom merely outwardly in relation to the social structure. Therefore, he is a revolt against society, but not revolt against the inner psychological structure which has created the society. I don't. Mm, yes. Therefore, uh, the genuine radical is uh, the revolution concerned. occurs uh, yeah, within, within the human being. Yeah. Within the skin rather than within the uh, framework of so social order. The real hopeless victims of mental illness are to be found among those who appear to be most normal. Many of them are normal because they are so well adjusted to our mode of existence, because their human voice has been silenced so early in their lives that they do not even struggle or suffer or develop symptoms as the neurotic does. They are normal, not in what may be called the absolute sense of the word. They are normal only in relation to a profoundly abnormal society. Their perfect adjustment to that abnormal society is a measure of their mental sickness. These millions of abnormally normal people living without fuss in a society to which, if they were fully human beings, they ought not to be adjusted. <laughs> 